I have something very special for you guys. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Kaushik Srivatsan. I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Goa College of Engineering in the year 2018. And after working for a couple of years, I decided I wanted to pursue my master's here in Germany. So since 2021, more specifically October 2021, I've been pursuing my master's in computational sciences and engineering at TU Braunschweig, one of the TU nines here in Germany. I'm currently starting my sixth semester and I will be starting a thesis at Porsche Engineering. And yes, you heard it right. It's the Porsche which has the 911 car. Back in 2020, when I also started applying for universities, I had a lot of confusion and I realized that I'm also not competing with just myself and the students around me, but also with a lot of international students. Cut to four years later, right? Now it's in 2024 and the competition has just increased tenfold. The number of students who are, especially Indian students who are applying for masters in Germany has just doubled if not. I think it's gone over 40,000 at this point. Which means the top universities, the top ranked universities like TU Munich, RWTH Aachen, FH Aachen, TU Dortmund, well, these universities are starting to increase the admission requirements and make it more strict. Apart from increasing language requirements, these universities are also introducing GRE as one of the mandatory requirements, if not at least a strong recommended requirement for their applications. Which means you have to set yourself apart, right? And this is the same scenario which I was in in the year 2020. I also wanted to make sure that I will get an admit in almost any university that I apply, which means I also have to do these exams like the GRE. And that is when I started my preparation in the year 2020 and I took the exam in September of 2020. I'm glad to report and I'm actually very happy to report that I got a very good score in that GRE exam. I scored a 331 out of 340, which is 168 in the quantitative reasoning section, 163 in the verbal reasoning section. And of course, not to leave out the analytical writing, I scored a 5 out of 6. For those of you who are even remotely aware of the GRE, you know that that is quite a high score, right? And the reason that I feel that I was able to score this very high score was obviously due to a lot of hard work and practice, but also because of the system that I was able to develop. You see these traditional institutes, these large inst organizations which conduct a lot of coaching classes for GRE, well, they lack flexibility and modularity in order to adapt for the needs of every individual student. I felt that I couldn't fit into their mold, which is why I decided to pursue my preparations on my own. I gathered a lot of resources, but I realized that even these resources were, they were very fragmented, which means they needed a proper framework, which was needed. And that's what I did in the beginning stages of my preparation. And that is the preparation, which has led me to scoring such a high score. A few months ago, Bharat reached out to me and said, why don't you make a GRE course, which shows all these techniques and frameworks, which you had developed. And I was hesitant a bit in the beginning. I must admit that. But later on, I felt that it's obviously going to be beneficial to all the students, right? The framework that I've built, the techniques that I have, it shouldn't go to waste. That means the students will get benefit for it. And I decided that I will jump into it and make an actual course. But I didn't want to make any course just like that. I needed to make a comprehensive masterclass, which I felt I would be proud of putting out to the world and that you will definitely benefit from. That's why it took me a while. And I'm happy to report that we actually have a complete course right now. If you recall a few weeks ago we had launched a free course that was part one of a four part course which i had promised at that time and now i'm glad to say that we have all four parts which are ready if you have not already checked out the free course then i'll urge you to click the first link in the description and sign up for it it's completely free and it'll give you a good introduction into what the gre is and what you can expect from the rest of the parts of my course well let's come to that right what can you expect well this is going to be a complete masterclass. We have over 180 lessons and over 40 hours of lectures which I have recorded for you guys. And we will be solving close to 500 problems live in these lessons. This is a lot, right? That is why it took me a long time to make up this course. Apart from the practice questions, you'll also see a lot of strategies and techniques which I have shared in this course, which will help you get to the highest score which you need. Well, the big question would be, how is the course built, right? And like I said, the course is built in four parts. The first part is the introduction free course which kind of gives you uh, the lay of the land of what the GRE is, what is the content, what is the structure of the exam and such like that. And later on, when we move on to part two, we are going to get into analytical writing. And here you will get a complete breakdown of how the GRE essay works and what helps you in improving your score of the essay from let's say a two or a three in order to get as close to possible as a five or a six. Then we move on to part three, which is going to focus on the verbal reasoning section of the GRE. This is largely a test of your English language skills and as such, I've made sure that I'm not actually teaching you English in this course, but rather I'm building out 
the vocabulary framework which you need and also the techniques and strategies which will help you actually solve these questions in the most efficient way possible and also in the right and timely way possible because time management is a very big tool which is needed in the actual GRE. Finally, when we move on to part four, we're going to have the quantitative reasoning section of the GRE and here it's going to be a lot about math. We will be reviewing a lot of math concepts from high school and also along with that solve dozens of problems, understand what the best techniques for solving and approaching the quantitative section of the GRE is. And it can be tough to just trust some random dude on the internet who's claiming that he's built a GRE course, right? And that is why I suggest that you sign up for the free course. It will give you a good introduction and I've explained my story in much more detail in that course. It will give you a good introduction of what GRE is, what the course is and what you can expect in the remaining part. If you still need a bit of convincing, then I urge you to please sign up for the free course where you'll get a good introduction into what the GRE is and what you can expect from the rest of the course. Thank you.